Now, did you know a lot of online retailers, uh, big online retailers, are actually flooded with fake Lego products? Now, I'm not going to name those companies specifically because I don't want to sort of give unnecessary publicity to these fake brands. But I thought I'd make a quick video that explains to you the differences between fake Lego and real Lego to help you kind of spot when you've accidentally bought a fake Lego product. If you've accidentally bought a fake Lego product, let me know down below. Let me know how you worked out that you bought a fake. Now, this is a massive problem because a lot of people are buying fake Lego products without actually realizing. And this is the very definition of a counterfeit product. A lot of the sort of fake Lego fans try and justify this. Uh, I completely disagree with everything that those people say and I have made a video in the past about why you shouldn't buy fake Lego and I'll leave a link to that down below but this video is specifically to help you identify between fake Lego and the real thing. Right, there's 10 things in this list, let's get on with it. So at number one we have price. So if you see a price that's too good to be true then it probably is. You can get a good price on brand new Lego sets if you shop around, discount codes and special offers, that sort of thing. You can also buy Lego sets second hand. That's a really good way of getting a Lego set at a cheaper price. But if you find something that looks like Lego online and it's ridiculously cheap, then it's probably fake. But don't be fooled though, because a fake is not good value. It's an illegal, inferior copy of the real thing. And a lot of the items in this list are going to show you the problems with buying a fake product. At number two, we have bundles of 50 minifigures. Lego do not sell bundles of 20, 30, 50, 100 minifigures. They do not do that. If you find product listings online that claim to ship you 100 minifigures, they're going to be fake. Now, fake minifigures are probably the biggest problem facing Lego at the moment because they're quite difficult to tell apart from the real thing. In fact, in a recent BBC interview with somebody quite senior at Lego, he was unable to tell the difference between a fake Lego minifigure and the real article. But trust me, there are some significant differences and you don't have to be particularly well trained to spot them. The fakes are much cheaper made, they feel a lot lighter in your hand and to be honest, if you try to play with them at all, parts of them would break off. You can see that the print quality isn't very good on the minifigures either. And what's more, they're absolutely worthless. Whereas your real Lego minifigures go up in value and can become very valuable, the fake ones are just worth nothing. Number three, listings will avoid using the word Lego. So they will try to avoid using trademarks like Lego and Star Wars in their product listings. I mean, after all, they don't want to make their counterfeiting too obvious, do they? Uh, it's probably enough just to steal the artwork, the Lego set designs and use themes that they haven't got the licenses to use, like Star Wars. It's another common practice to invent a sort of strange brand name that sounds a little bit like Lego, or use a trademark that looks like Star Wars but isn't quite the same. So they'll rearrange letters, or replace letters, or remove letters from those words. So for example, you might have something like Stan Wan's Millipede Flappo Set, or something that would be the Millennium Falcon, or Stop Watch. X Wong, I don't know, something like that. At number four, Lego is the only company licensed to make brick based Star Wars products. Also, the Technic, Friends, Ninjago, or Ninjago, however you say it, all of those Lego theme sets are only manufactured by Lego. So, if you see another company making a set that claims to be part of those ranges, they are counterfeit. At number five, New Lego comes in boxes. If the set you're buying is advertised as new, but you can't see a box advertised anywhere on the listing, or when you buy it, it just arrives in a plastic bag, then you probably bought a fake. New Lego sets are always shipped in a Lego branded box. And if it does come in a box, be sure to check the logo on it. Make sure it doesn't say something that looks like Lego, but 
isn't Lego because a lot of the manufacturers are starting to counterfeit the box artwork as well and they purposefully make their logos look very similar to the real Lego logo so that you buy it thinking that you're buying the real thing. At number six, if you do buy a fake by accident, you will notice the quality. The quality of fake Lego is nowhere near that of the real thing. And I'll give you a couple of examples now. Firstly, the bricks aren't made of the same plastic composition as the real Lego article. And you'll notice this in the colour of the bricks, the feel of the bricks, the finish of the bricks, how they actually look. And I've noticed that with some of these fake bricks, if you hold them in your hand, you get a really strange residue on your fingers. Now, a lot of the fake Lego supporters get really angry when I say, well, I wonder what that is. Um, but I do wonder what that is. A fellow Lego YouTuber uh, called 16-Bit Bricks made a video where he melted uh, fake Lego and real Lego in acetone and they do actually melt in a different way which does highlight actually that they're different compositions um, but also it's quite a good video because it's just entertaining to watch so I'm going to leave a link to that down below for you to check out. At number seven Lego instructions are very well printed and extremely easy to follow. By contrast, fake instructions are printed on cheaper paper and the colour rendering and resolution just isn't as good as real Lego instructions. And this means it can be quite difficult actually to identify the bricks you need for a particular instruction. Also, real Lego booklets are well organised and not crowded at all, whereas fake instructions to save a bit of money, they'll put sometimes four, five or six of the copied Lego instructions on one page. Number eight, Lego bricks are always printed with Lego on the studs. Fake manufacturers will generally have nothing on the studs at all. Now it's worth saying at this point that there are actually some real genuine Lego alternative manufacturers, for example Mega Blocks, and they do actually put something on the studs of their bricks. And I think there are also some genuine manufacturers that don't put things on the studs either. For example, I've reviewed a few Oxford sets and I don't think that Oxford put anything on the studs of their bricks. But as a rule of thumb, if you bought a Lego Star Wars set, for example, but then you notice that the studs didn't have Lego written on them, then that sounds like a fake to me. At number nine, Lego is not shipped from China. Lego is based in Denmark and they have stores throughout Europe. But if you go onto a popular website, buy a Lego set and it says it's coming from China, it's probably safe to say that it's not the real genuine Lego article. And if you do accidentally buy fake Lego from China, for example, don't be surprised if the customs in your country confiscate it at the border. This is happening increasingly and I've heard of several stories of people who have bought fake Lego and they've never had it actually arrive at their front door. At number 10, Lego do make mistakes, so occasionally Lego slip up in their manufacturing process and you might miss one brick. For example, in my 32 years of existence on this planet, I have had one Lego brick missing from one of the many hundreds of sets that I've made. By contrast, fake Lego isn't manufactured to exactly the same standards, so if you get a Lego set and there are five or six bricks missing from the set, unless you bought it second hand of course, in which case the original owner's probably just lost the bricks, it's highly likely that you've accidentally bought a fake. So what should you do if you bought a fake? Well, you should try and get your money back to start with if you bought it from one of the sort of popular websites, contact their customer support and ask for a refund. So in this video I hope I've highlighted some of the differences between real and fake Lego and given you an idea of really what to look for uh, if you've bought some Lego and you want to check to make sure that it's genuine. But I haven't really touched on why you shouldn't buy fake Lego and I have made a video on that in the past um, and I'm going to leave a link to that down below so that's five reasons why I don't buy uh, fake Lego. I hope you enjoyed this video, do subscribe if you like this sort of thing and technology and geeky stuff in general because that's what I do on this channel. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time for another video.